So uh, to start off this presentation, uh, we're going to remind her this is our product, the alarm ring. It's a security ring with a button. You press it three times and it alerts the person that they've programmed it to beforehand, typically their emergency contact and or law enforcement. It alerts them of their location and they're able to better assist you that way. So for our target market, uh, we're definitely targeting women 18 to 30 as these women are often alone, you know, they at uh, 18, early 20, they start going out, you know, uh, later in the 30s, you know, these women are alone in certain areas of the city, maybe even public transportation, so this is definitely helpful. Uh, parents with girls 14 through 17, that kind of ties back to when, you know, if you're alone around this age, teenagers are going to the mall with their friends or movies, you know, this is something that they can carry around and will protect them. Um, the voice to women 35 and older, uh, this targets them because they were married for the most part. So them being individual, a little older, they're not used to being uh, alone in certain places. So this definitely targets them as well. Um, and this also targets men and women ages 65 and older. You know, it's not even just for danger in regards to being out somewhere alone or, you know, it goes to be a, to prevent safety hazards. And our demographic segmentation is age and gender. For our target market research, we did typical component lifestyles, the average screen time for our younger side of the market, of the market segment, excuse me, is three hours and 25 minutes, which is going to come in handy when we go over our marketing strategies. Uh, the reference groups, friends, family, social media influencers, and celebrities, they're more inclined to buy a product if a celebrity or social media influencer promotes it. And uh, they're more inclined to buy a product if their friends say that they use it or their family says that they use it. Perfect. The yeah, typical approach to consumer decision making is they'll typically see the product on social media or anywhere. They'll click on the link, they'll see the product, they'll see the reviews, and then they'll go to their friends if they see reviews that they don't like, some one star, some two stars, but eventually they'll make the purchase and then they'll seek approval for validation. They'll ask around friends, family to sort of validate the uh, purchase to make sure that they made the right decision basically. And for our strategies, in order to attract our customers, we're going to place ads on social media for our younger clients, or even sometimes our older clients, if they're on social media, it may be highly unlikely that they are. However, we will have commercials on TV for the older audience, and obviously some people don't want to watch uh, commercials, but hopefully this commercial will catch, the, will catch their attention.